it is a very very like a disastrous condition for a couple especially for the female because the female has become pregnant but she never had a baby thyroid hormone is also very notorious and it is also responsible for abortion in many of the cases so in those cases like you're just not pregnant and you're just by chemically pregnant miscarriages or you can say miscarriage once also so it is like the stock has come but the stock did not it just visited you and it just left so ultimately you didn't end up having a baby you didn't end up listening to the baby's words the coo of the baby or you were not able to take the baby in your arms so it is a very very like a disastrous condition for a couple especially for the female because the female has become pregnant but she never had a baby so talking about miscarriage or abortion is a very important thing for the couples so they should know that when miscarriage happens and why miscarriage happens and is there anything that they can do to prevent these miscarriages because whenever a miscarriage happens the couple always blames themselves for the miscarriage usually the female because you think that okay you did this thing that day and so the miscarriage happened but it is not like that there are many things which are in interplay when you are having a miscarriage so let's divide your pregnancy into trimesters which you must have heard so we have got the first trimester we have got the second trimester and we have got the last trimester so let's talk about first trimester miscarriages first and before talking about that let me tell you one thing that whether you are conceiving naturally or you are undergoing an ivf procedure and you have a miscarriage it then falls in the same boat the management is also the same and everything we have to do for the patient is the same so first and foremost let us talk about first trimester miscarriages and let's begin from the fourth week of pregnancy so it's the fourth week of pregnancy and you are doing a urine pregnancy test on yourself and the pregnancy test is positive you have you have got two lines and you are like elated okay now like you are going you are pregnant you are mother now but what happens when you go for your ultrasound after one week to see the sac the gestational sac of the baby you don't have any sac so it is then what we give it a term it is a biochemical pregnancy so in a biochemical pregnancy what happens the pregnancy hormones that is the serum beta hcg that only rises in your blood but you don't have a sac you don't have a g sac in yourself so in those cases like you're just not pregnant and you're just biochemically pregnant second scenario is that the sac is there and when you go for a repeat scan after one week again for the cardiac activity you don't see any cardiac activity so then again it's the same you have seen a fetal pole everything there is no cardiac activity the cardiac activity is missing so it's a dead baby the doctor tells you to go for an abortion fourth scenario is you have a good cardiac activity and then after some weeks maybe after 8 weeks 9 weeks you start having spotting and when you go for the scan there is no cardiac activity or there is a cardiac activity but the baby that is inside you the fetus is non salvageable you are undergoing a threatened abortion so these are some of the scenarios and that now let us talk that why it has happened to you why you are only the person who are suffering from it so first and foremost there are things that are involved in making a baby you have to understand that so it is made from the oocyte your eggs your husband's sperm and it is like it is prepared inside your tubes and it is implanted in your uterus and it grows in your uterus so basically the uterus is the place where, where it is nurtured and it it grows there so we have to see whether the uterus is having any problem or not you might be having some problem in the uterus you might be having a big fibroid inside your uterus which is not letting it grow not in the uterus specifically i say in the endometrial cavity where the baby is kept so if in the uterus there is a fibroid there is nothing to worry but anything that is present in the endometrial cavity is a source of worry for us so the endometrial cavity has to be totally clean for the baby to grow so first and foremost we need to see you for this secondly we need to see you medically whether you are suffering from any medical disorder during pregnancy like you might be normal but during the gestational period